Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be doing 10 free City of Tweaks for iOS 8. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I'm going to try to start adding these back in every week for you guys. So be sure and check back for them. The first one I'm going to share with you is called CC Swipe. And this is pretty cool. Uh, it's sort of like uh, OXO. Uh, animation if you will if you swipe up from the bottom you see what you get is this animations that, that takes you into your app switcher which is pretty cool and you can also swipe up again and it takes you back to your home screen so you could actually use that for your home button it's called CC swipe the next one we're looking at here is called Soul, S-O-L, and I'm going to show you each one of these in Cydia so you know exactly what it is I'm saying. And Soul is compatible with the iOS 8 and iPhone. And what this does, guys, is it silences your incoming calls or your alarms just by flipping your phone over. So say you have an alarm set for to get up to go to work of the morning, you're pretty tired, Instead of having to reach over and find the, the stop or turn or quieten the alarm button or anything like that, you just flip the phone over. Or if you're getting a phone call, you don't want to answer it to get it to stop ringing, just flip the phone over. And it has some settings under the settings app here that you can set up different things. And I'll show you some of those right now. So right here we go into SOL. And you got your sensitivity here. You can flip it on for alarms if you want to. Here's your behavior. Dismiss or snooze for the alarm. And if you want to use it for incoming calls, you can turn this toggle on down here. If not, just turn it off. That is called Sol, S-O-L. S -O -L. The next one is one of my favorites for sure, called Volume Banner. And when you see your volume up here at the top you see how cool that looks it goes away pretty fast but if you can grab that you can actually turn it up and down now your volume is actually up at the top out of the way it's not planted right in the center of the screen uh, over top of anything you might be trying to read or anything like that this is a pretty awesome new way to display your volume it's called volume banner the next one is called Smooth Cursor. So let's go in here and look it up. Smooth Cursor. And what this one does, guys, uh, we actually did a review of this for our top apps or top tweaks of the week. And if we go in here, I'll show you what it is you have to do. Uh, as you see here, you can see how smooth that is uh, flowing through there and it, even when you go back look how smooth it is it works really great it's called uh, smooth cursor the next one is another one of my favorites called muse let me say this correctly muse switch it's music and switch together making Mew switch. It may sound sort of funny what I'm trying to say, but right here's what it is. Now, what this one does, guys, there's no options to or anything to configure with this one. You just simply uh, install it and it works. It replaces some of your uh, music controls, it makes them display differently. So let me show you what it is that I'm talking about. If we go to our app switcher, you see up here at the top now, we have these music controls. Those look a lot better than the ones before. Um, also, if you wanted to swipe up, uh, those controls are still the same. But if you flip your phone to uh, be in landscape, which I can't really get mine to do that right now for some reason, that will actually flip over too and it, and it works in both landscape and portrait position so keep that in mind it's called Mew Switch the next one we're looking at here is called Fuse F-U 
Z. I'm sorry, F U S E. Now, what this one does is it actually fuses together both your music controls and your clock, making both of those items visible on your lock screen at the same time. And here again, it says there's no options to configure. So, if we go to our lock screen, you will see, uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and turn that, turn that down where you can't hear that and you'll be able to see we have our music controls check and lock screen check both are on the lock screen at the same time so they do work at the same time on the lock screen that's called fuse f u s e the next one is called fairy dust you'll see right here that it actually changes the way your status bar colors look when you're getting a, a phone when you're making a phone call a recording or tethering your phone so what I'll do is I'll make a pretend phone call and we'll just go ahead and do something like so uh, and I'll just do it like that and you'll see up here at the top you see how the status bar looks sort of weird looking that's because of fairy dust so now we can actually go back in here and change some of this stuff around under configurations under call color now I'm going to make it lime green okay now you can see that it's a green looking color alright and that just lets you post to Twitter um, it says you will need a, a, a respring to get these to uh, work. So that's going to be something we'll have to do to get that green to actually work. So now you see up here at the top, when I go in here, I'm getting the green bar partially because the phone call isn't complete is why it's doing that. So let's end that. So you see that it does work. It's called fairy dust. The next one we're looking at here is going to be called folder blur. And there's actually two of them that go together. Folder blur. Give it just a second to reload where we, uh, you got folder blur. And then there's one called blurry bar those both work together and you see this requires iOS 8 and it was a reddit request uh, folder shift user adds 12 blur effects for your folder background so we go into our settings here and go into folder blur and you can see right here at the top if we touch blurry bar then that's going to let us down on that but we've already installed it but we go to style and you got all these different styles here but i'm going to go to the most blurred here sort of to see if you can see for sure what it is i'm trying to get uh, that this does look at the background behind the folders there see now you can't see through the folder okay now if I change that back to what it was earlier to just to be transparent now when we go in here you'll be able to actually see through this uh, and, and apparently that requires a respring too there it is now see how you can see through it uh, it doesn't require a respring and blurry bar works the same way only it works on your status bar so if we go up here at the top to blurry bar right here and we change this it's going to change our actual status bar now look at the top right there now you can't see through that so if I change it back to transparent now we should be able to see through it and you can and that's what folder blur and blurry bar both do now the last one we're going to talk about here is called echo 
Echo allows you to add several different sound effects or change the sounds on your device. If you can remember a tweak we did called iSounds, this will allow your device to come alive, it says, with custom sounds for app launches, lock sounds, unlock sounds, startup sounds, and several more. So if we go in here to our settings and go to Echo, you see here you have all these different things you can change from app launch, uh, and it should give you a little preview, but it must not. So if we go to doorbell for app launch, and now when we launch an app, it should make a little sound. So, and you see that it does. So every time you open an app now, it's gonna give you a doorbell sound. That's just the sort of a example that you could use, all right? And if you don't want any, you hit none, and down here at the bottom, you got startup sounds, tiny button push, and unlock iOS 7. So if you'd rather have that sound as opposed to the iOS 8 unlock, then that's going to be left up to you. That's 10 awesome free tweaks. Check them out. Let me know what you think in the comments. If I miss one of your favorites, let us know in the comments so we can check it out as well. And it may be in our next video next time. As always, guys, if you aren't a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and share these with all your friends and social media and keep coming back.